Well, hello, Easter is upon us, and that means two things, hot cross buns and chocolate, and Jesus, I guess, if you... If you're into that, I guess, yeah, that's pretty important for this holiday one. So I thought I would bring you a more appropriately timed recipe of hot cross bun waffles, or hot cross waffles, as that's the only thing I could fit on there. So it's a pretty easy one today. We're going to do some hot cross bun flavored waffles, uh, and it's after boxing day, so it's slightly more acceptable, right? So first off, we're going to need to preheat our waffle maker. Uh, if you don't have a waffle maker, then that's a problem for you, I guess. So go out to Kmart and grab one. This makes little heart-shaped waffles. It is very cute. Easter. Ooh. Hearts aren't Easter. I don't know. Yeah. Put it to the side. Into our mixing bowl, we are putting milk, eggs, melted unsalted butter, and some vanilla. And now we whisk. Now to our dry ingredients of self-raising flour, caster sugar, mixed spice, cinnamon, and the zest of half an orange. Mix until just combine. Don't worry if it's a little lumpy, lumps your friends. It means that you haven't overworked the batter and you won't get gross, hard, chewy waffles. Now we're gonna mix in about half a cup of currants that I've just soaked in a little bit of boiling water and that's just to soften them up so they're not too like dry and crispy in the waffles. Uh, you can probably put more in there than I am and this is all I had left. So we're making do with what I have. In, fold those gently into your batter. Now that our waffle maker is nice and hot, up to temperature with a little green light going, I'm just going to brush it with a little bit of softened butter just so things don't stick. Now we're going to place about a quarter cup of butter in each of our little hearts. Close her up and let it cook for about 10 minutes. Okay, so while our waffles are baking, cooking, this is kind of baking. Uh, we need to make the cross, because obviously a hot cross bun needs a cross. I guess they all do, otherwise it's just a fruit bun, and this is just a spiced waffle recipe. Which is great for any other holiday, apart from this one, because it's hot cross buns. Anyway, uh, I've melted some white chocolate, and I just put it in a little piping bag, just made of some paper, just because we're going to throw it out, and uh, why reuse piping bags? Because that's too hard to clean. With our melted chocolate in our piping bag, we're going to take one of our waffles that is like reasonably cool down and we're going to fill uh, our crop our little cross section so down through here and then across through there and then that's that's pretty much it we're, we're good we're good to go you don't have to do this for all of them uh, it could be less tedious and if you're just serving them to a big group of people you could just have your little piping bag that's dripping all over your table and uh, just get them to free pour Maybe they don't like crucifixes. Maybe they just want to go around the heart. Maybe they just want to put it straight in their mouth. Okay, now for the all important taste test. What we're all here for, really. Mmm. This is so good. They're all of the elements of a hot cross bun that you want. You got spice, you got a little bit of that citrus kicking through, and then you've got that sweetness from the, uh, the currants or the sultanas through there. And the white chocolate, not too overpowering, which means that you don't need any like syrup or whatever you could still put syrup on here don't get me wrong pop it with a bit of ice cream oh so good light and crispy teeny tiny little bit of chew oh amazing thanks so much for watching today's video all of your ingredients and quantities are down in the description below if you like this video and all of my other ones check out the rest of my channel like and subscribe and share it with your friends have a good easter bye